Okay, hey everybody. Welcome back again, once again. This is going to be episode 5 of our Starfield series. Hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, please hit the like button to any of these videos and subscribe. Thank you kindly. It really does help us out on this side. So, we had in episode 4 <coughs> had um, checked out all the initial items in that first uh, mining outpost, which is basically the Vectura. We're on Vectura, the planet, and we are, uh, you know, basically a part of the Argos Extractors faction right now at the beginning of the game, you know, with, uh, with Supervisor Lin and uh, so forth uh, at the beginning of the game here. And so this is the mining outpost for them that we're on, where we found that uh, strange object that someone's coming to collect. I guess we're going to be making some kind of a deal. Um, before we move forward and go out the airlock, which is where we stopped at the last uh, episode, I wanted to take time uh, now to just take a look at um, options here. And so inventory is on the bottom right here for when you, uh, if you're using a joystick, it's uh, ultimately when you push like select, brings up the uh, inventory management and so forth. So. Inventory is down the bottom right corner here. There's your missions and or your quests um, straight, to, straight down at the bottom. This one's not opened yet. That'll open up later on. This one is the star map. And here is the skills. So if we go to the star map. Right now, this view, it's going to show us that um, we were in this mine. There's something unknown over here. 80% surveyed. And so let's see if we can back out. I'm not sure if this one's going to allow us to back out to the star map yet. Oh, it does. Okay. So here's Vectura. This is... Oh, it's actually not a planet. It's a moon. The moon of Ancelon. We're near the south southern part there, as you can see. On the island, or sorry, on on the planet, <laughs> and Ancelon here looks like it's almost like a Saturn-looking planet. It has rings around it, and it also looks like we're a few stars out, or sorry, a few planets out away from that massive star. Pretty cool. Oh, look at that! It shows the gravity waves, like space-time fabric. <laughs> That's cool. How it's warping the space-time fabric around each one of the uh, objects in space here. That's that's pretty cool. Either that or that's a showing gravitational wave. Here. Uh, still pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. And so let's see if we can get out to the overall like galaxy map. Because this is the solar system map. Uh, so... I'm assuming this is the overview of the solar. So that was the sorry, that was the the planet or object uh, body um, map, and this is the this is the solar system map. Um, oh, it has two moons on this one. You can see kind of up in the left hand corner, uh, each one of the planets in the solar system. The system, but we know it's the solar system because they're all revolving around a sun, or sorry, I should say a star. Um, there really is only one sun, which is basically Sol. That's from our uh, our Terra solar system. But anyways, uh, this is a system. <coughs> pardon me. Um, switch over. I guess it can't. Won't really. Um, yeah. Era. Agareth. Aaron Hawk. Well, it gives you all of the different resources. Then there's also moons. Hyperia, Moon of Agareth. So cool. I really like this. Um, Anra. Oh, fauna, flora, water, needosphere, unknown. Temperature, gravity. There's moons around this one. 
Where are far? Marginal. Yep, there's some on Nira. There is none on Magarath. There's none on the Ancelon. Marginal on Crete, which is secondary moon. Bactura. No, no, flora, no. Ah. No flora, no fauna. Temperature is deep. Atmosphere thin, CO, thin, carbon. But there is. Versus oh. <clears throat> Show me is why. Oh, that's a zoom in. Back to system. So this is the system. We were just kind of going over it. Let's just check it out. Ati, the first system. Get ourselves in. Allah. Gas giant. Star station. Oh, okay. Intra oh, there's another one all the way out here. Cruz. Okay, and this is it is under the Free Star Collective. Let's go back out one more level to the. Oh, there's us? Faction, United Colonies. Alpha Centauri. Colonies. Wolf. Bernard Star. Huh. <clears throat> Alt line. These are unfaction. Ion A. Ion B. Luton Star. Oh, it shows us levels. Okay, that's cool. Even has the level color coded. Oh. Buy a thing. Ara. Schrodinger's. Ha <laughs> Five. Getting up there. Forty five. Beta Mara. Beta Mare. Another one. Ah, Alpha Mare and Beta Mare. So, like, just binaries over there. Pain. Level one. Ayin's a free star collective. Okay. The hog. Oh. Wow. Check that out. This. Karov. 
What'd you call me? <laughs> uh, quite a few destinations out here in this galaxy alone. And I think to get outside of the galaxy, I, I don't know, I could, I could be wrong. There's multiple galaxies, obviously, infinite galaxies. I don't know how many are in this game, but get, I would imagine, two things that is subspace. We have drive, gravity drive, jump. We may need to jump from planet to planet. I'm not sure if that's, maybe. Yet seen Eon fact. Tricks. Crimson Fleet. Hey, that's a definitely a faction. Okay. That's the galaxy. And I don't think it allows us to show any other galaxies. No, that's cool. Um, so that's the star map. Pretty cool stuff. Um... Go to the missions. Problem. Go through all the stuff just LB and RB at the top there. Go all targets. Go on the map. You can set a course to go to your quest destination. We don't have anything else other than the first initial one small step quest, but there'll be faction quests, miscellaneous quests, missions, activity, and then of course the lead. I don't know if activity is like pertaining to the missions, whatever. So there's there's a couple different categories in requests and missions. Now, oh, skills. Let's check these out. So, remember when we did pick our character at the beginning during the character creation? I think that was episode three of this series. Um, we picked a soldier, had three particular characteristics. Um, they were just starting characteristics. Um, so obviously you can get more and more. So fitness was one of them. So you can see these other ones are unlocked. This is the only one in physical category. Um, use, use up all available oxygen 20 times. You have 10% more oxygen. So we can keep leveling that up. It looks like there's boxing, there's health, weightlifting, illness. That's all in physical. Next level down, you have energy weapon dissipation. Environmental conditioning, plastics, nutrition, aim tolerance, martial arts, next level down, decontamination, and cellular regeneration. Okay, down in the bottom level, we have concealment, neuro strikes, and we have rejuvenation. Straightforward stuff. I'm going to go through all of these skills. Basically, the skill trees. So in social, we have commerce, astronomy, evasion, scavenging, theft, <laughs> got negotiation, isolation, intimidation, diplomacy, deception, septicon, uh, investig instigation, sorry, leadership, outpost management. Bottom here we have Xenoscience Sociology. Ship Command. Manipulate. Combat. Ballistics. Beginning one. Side the combat. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. Cool. Dueling. Lasers. <laughs> Man, every time I hear the word laser, I hear hours. Dr. Evil. Uh, pistol certification, shotgun certification, rifle certification, article beams, hey. Incapacitation! <laughs> nice. Uh, heavy weapons certification, got an HW. Demolitions, oh, demo man. Marksmanship. Rapid reloading. Cool stuff. Sniper certification, wicked! Oh, I loved it. Targeting. Sharp shooting. Crippling. And armor pen. 
Okay, go to science. Start off with astrodynamics, ecology, medicine. Take the time to pause, and if you're curious on each one of these, pause the video and uh, read it out thoroughly. Research methods, surveying. It's gonna be fun. Boring survey. Geology, weapon engineering. A suit design, scanning, botany, astrophysics, chemistry, outpost engineering, getting cool, special projects, planetary habitation, and a neutronic fusion, finally I'm going to go over to tech, Ballistics weapon systems. I guess this is chip. Chip ballistics. Boost pack training. We have that selected from our base character selection. Piloting. Security. Targeting control systems. Building systems or shield systems. Payloads. Probably ship capacity at cargo space. Engine systems. Energy weapon systems. Missile weapon systems, particle beam weapon systems, robotics, starship design, starship engineering, EM electromagnetic weapon systems, boost assault training, and automated weapon systems. Uh, I'm really stoked for this. There's like a lot of stuff to you can work on and upgrade this is this is cool this is gonna be fun i'm not sure how like most bethesda rpgs would probably just have to level up like this the progression tracks right by using skills and doing different things um not sure how exactly we get to skill points yet in this one um but we're gonna see very near future or and so i can't remember what would be in here to be honest with you i know this opens up later uh, might be the constellation section or something. I can't quite remember. Or it could be crafting, maybe. Could be crafting on this side. Uh, most likely it's crap. Maybe. I could have sworn there was one straight to the north as well, but again, I'm not sure uh, if and when that'll be there, or if I just not not rem remembering quickly correctly. Um, again, I only played this briefly just to try to check out the rig earlier. I didn't get very far. A little bit farther than what we are now because I'm taking time to explain things and look at things and check everything out. But uh, I know that this section here I had opened. It's probably crafting down here. Um, but we're going to see actually soon too. So now that we've gone through all of those options, uh, I think it is a good time again to take the break. And I know that we promised to step outside this airlock. And that I had a bad feeling about what's gonna happen out here. In fact, my bad feeling's accurate because I kind of did this part already, so it's a bit of a spoiler. There's a bit of action coming up right outside here. First little combat scenario um, is gonna be taking place. Uh, but um, again, I think what we'll do is this, we'll just kind of take a break now. And uh, we're trying to keep these videos relatively shorter, not short, but shorter. Um, again, if you found this helpful at all, please subscribe hit the like button post us a comment if you know anything uh I've got an answer to any of my questions or if you have a question yourself please feel free to, to add it in the chat below i will be doing my best to take a look at uh, every opportune moment and answer as much as possible and or we always enjoy your feedback uh much better when we can get uh community chatting about everything um, and it definitely makes uh perspective a lot better when we have other people's feedback so feel free feel open and um thank you for watching have a good one we'll see you in the next episode very soon